Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be showing you some of the plugins and themes for Oh My Fish, which is sort of a framework for fish shell that allows you to do some really cool stuff. Now, there's a whole bunch of packages and themes, so we can't nearly show you them all, but I'll put a link to the main repository for these in the description of the video, and then that way you can check out all of the plugins and themes yourself. So let's get going on that right now. So now that we have Fish and Oh My Fish installed, let's actually get to using some of these extensions, packages, and themes of that nature. So I'm going to post a link to this page in the description of the video, and you can check it out for yourself. But you can see there's a whole bunch of repositories, several pages of them, in fact, of different themes and different plugins. Now, if you want to see what sort of themes are even available, we can just simply type OMF theme. Uh, no S here. It's wanting to autocomplete that. So we can say OMF theme. And as you can see, we have all of these different themes. Now let's go ahead and just try to throw one on here. One of the themes that I use a lot is toaster. So we can do OMF theme and then toaster. And as you can see, it's already installed this theme. We have a dollar sign here and it looks really nice. Uh, the colors it changes the colors a little bit. It sort of changes the command prompt. But let's actually go inside of a, a uh, site. So let's go into my sites folder. And let's go into a site that's associated with a Git repository here. So as you can see, when we're using this, uh, we actually get what sort of we actually get that it's using git. There we have a colon. We have this, uh, the branch name right here. And we have a little status indicator. Let's go ahead and type OMF theme once more. Let's grab something else and let's go ahead and try OMF theme trout. Okay, so as you can see, they get a little bit different, right? So we now have this theme that has some information over here on the right side. Uh, it tells us what our directory is. This has some of our, um, let's say this is our git branch. So our branch is number seven, then we have this like star indicator right here. So as you can see, we can really quickly change these themes, but right now we have no way of really telling what they look like without coming in here. And let's say we could search for a theme. Let's go to uh, theme dangerous and let's see. As you can see, this is what theme dangerous looks like. And uh, it's nice that they actually have um, sort of an animated image here, an animated GIF of this working. So let's actually go and install this one. And as you can see, this actually has some information here. It says to uh, set VI mode enabled, so we can go ahead and do that. Now to set this theme, we can set it with OMF theme and then dangerous. Now, if you'll notice in the repo, it's named theme hyphen dangerous. We just need the dangerous part of that. And you can see it's going to install it and it's successfully installed. And as you can see, uh, we have some nice theme dangerous going on here. If we change directory once more into this into this file, you can see we now get the file location over here on the right. Uh, before we were just in my user directory. And once we move into the repository, you can see that we get the branch information as well. So we can set our colors using the set dangerous colors, or we can simply just type something like day or night. And as you can see, it changes the colors here. Uh, it's very subtle, but it changes them a little bit. Uh, you can see it mostly in this green check mark here. Okay, so let's go and install a package while we're here, and let's go to a Sublime Text plugin. Um, there's one that essentially just allows you to open any file that you're looking at in Sublime. So this is Plugin Sublime. You can see on the plugins that there's this OMF install Sublime. We can go ahead and just paste that in here. It's going to install the Sublime package. Now we're inside of this. Let's go ahead and open this index.html file using this package. So from here, we can just type subl and then index.html. And as you can see, it opens up Sublime Text, which was not previously open, and open this file. So that's just one of many packages. Uh, so that's just one of many plugins and themes that are available for uh, Oh My Fish here. So you can come here and check out all of these sweet plugins. 
and upgrade your command line shell. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.